Hey everyone, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today I'm gonna to show you an easy to set up vocal delay trick that you can use to spice up your delays, make them sort of interesting, atmospheric sounding delays using some modulation. In this case, panning and chorusing modulation in addition to the standard delay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is play the dry signal for you. It was printed with some reverb on it, so it's just the vocal with some reverb. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. So a typical delay usage would be to have two different delays at two different speeds. In this case, I've got Echo Boy on both. I've got an eighth note delay on one instance of Echo Boy, and I've got a quarter note delay on the other instance of Echo Boy. So a short delay and a medium delay as the dry vocal is going. Here's what it sounds like. Now the delay is gonna be kind of loud just so you can hear what it's doing. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. So it's a decent delay, but it's sort of overtaking the dry vocal, and I wanted to create some more motion with it anyway. So what I did is added Brower Motion to it, which is a panning plugin from Waves. And I have two instances of Brower Motion. One of them, though, is reversed from the other, which means I click this little reverse button, it starts on the right side instead of the left. So if you watch Brower Motion, what it's doing with those two little dots. Now we've got two different length delays, but also being panned separately back and forth. Without Brower Motion, here they are again. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. I add the panning modulation back in. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. And suddenly everything gets a little bit softer, a little bit more interesting in that the modulation is happening and has a definitely more motion to it. So after I put the panning in there, I then send both of those to a reverb to soften things up even more. In this case, I'm using Valhalla Plate, but before Valhalla Plate, I put some more modulation in a chorus effect. This is Presonus's own chorus that comes with Studio One. When we send it to the reverb, we now get this sound. Warm by the fireside, every now. Without that chorus and reverb. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. Just to add that nice motion from the chorus and smearing things around with the, with the plate reverb again. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. And then the very last step is to have a compressor that serves as a ducker. So it's basically being a side chain input from the dry vocal into this compressor. Every time that dry vocal goes beyond the threshold, it's ducking down this effect a little bit. Every time that vocal stops, the effect's allowed to open up again. Here it is with the ducking going on. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep now. Under the street lights, snow falling fast and deep now. So we took some standard delay and made it really atmospheric and had a lot of motion to it. So again, here's the standard stock delay. No panning, no reverb and chorus, and no ducking. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast asleep. So again, to soften them out and to provide some motion, here come the panners, the reverb's back in, the ducking's back in. Warm by the fireside, everyone fast Sleep now. So there it is, a really easy tip to take standard delays and soften them up, give them a little bit of motion, give them a little bit more atmosphere, and make them a little bit more interesting sounding to spice up your mixes. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I will see you in the next one.